Aloha. I'm on here again. Uh, I just wanted to give another testimonial about my work with cancer and hemp oil. This is kind of a personal story. Um, I had a very dear friend um, that uh, he had six kids. He was married to a gal that, um, well, let's just say there wasn't a whole lot of love between them. Um, and But he stayed with her because of the kids. He really loved his kids. He was a great dad. And uh, the thing was, was uh, when I met him, uh, he was cleaning carpets for a living, and I was painting houses. And uh, as we got to be friends, uh, I kind of got to know, and I got to know him and what his situation was in life. I found out that not only was he, he was getting paid $10 an hour for this job, but he was also being abused by the guy that he worked for. And I kept telling him he needed to quit that job and find someplace else. It was better for his soul to work at, and uh, he kept saying that he didn't feel like that would be appropriate because he needed the money. He couldn't afford to be without work for even a couple days because he was just so on the edge of poverty all the time with his kids. And I respected that, um, but uh, at one point in time, you know, the guy asked him to do something that was really dangerous, and he would not put his life in uh, in jeopardy for his kids, you know, because he wanted to be there for his kids. So he quit the job, and I had him come to work for me. <clears throat> he was a couple years older than me, but within a year I had him making $25 an hour um, under the table, and he had a much better life going for him and his kids. But after working for me for a couple years, uh, he wound up uh, just getting tired of the work. You know, it was a lot of physical work. Uh, I keep a pretty good pace when I work, and um, or used to. And it wound up that uh, he uh, got a job at a local health food store. And we stayed in touch, and when I started working with hemp oil, he was really excited for me and encouraging about, you know, my work with that because he was kind of a closet healer himself and saw potential that he could get involved with it in the future. But lo and behold, about a couple of years after he started working at this health food store, um, at one point he went to go see the doctor about a pain in his back and it wound up that he had cancer. It was very aggressively metastasizing. It started in his spine and it was just all over his body. And a month later he was dead. Um, during the time uh, he stayed in the hot, they, they checked him into the hospital. He never got out of the hospital, from what I understand. And you know, the thing is, is I knew just about every friend that he had were were my friends as well. And if he ever asked to see me, he knew I had hemp oil and knew I would have given it to him. But the thing that I, where I was coming from, was I didn't want to go see him and you know just say, hey, come on, let me let me heal you and. You know, I wanted to respect his uh, choice to possibly use this as an exit strategy. And so I didn't go see him, and he wound up uh, passing. He never, nobody ever came and asked me to go see him, so I, I respected his decision. And I, even though I was kind of sad that I never really got to say goodbye to him physically, uh, I, it was all right, and everything was cool. But uh, being the spiritual man that I am, I have this one gal that I talk to occasionally that con that connects me with my guides, and she's boy, she is so accurate. But at one point in time, I was having a conversation with her after my friend had passed, and he came through, and he his message to me was that in that last month of his life, the pain that he went through was just excruciating, and that the the drugs that they gave him just didn't cut it. He still experienced a lot of pain. And that if I had come to him and offered the hemp oil as just a way to assist him in uh, controlling his pain, it would have made a lot of difference for him. And that I needed to look at it beyond black and white. Either you're going to try and heal and succeed or not, but either you're going to try or you're not. And if you're not, then what are we talking for? So I needed to broaden my, my perspective to encompass people that have, de or have decided that they want to pass and they want to use the hemp oil as a pain control so that they can pass a little bit more gracefully with less pain. And lo and behold, within two weeks of me having that conversation with him through this medium, um, I was contacted by a family that had um, a person in their family that was passing of cancer and she had lived a full life and she wanted to use something, have something else for pain control because what she was using wasn't really helping her that much. So um, they, I got some hemp oil to them and after she passed they sent me a really lovely letter saying that 
the passing of her was so much more graceful and easy because the hemp oil eased her pain in such a holistic way that she was relaxed and pain-free and they were able to interact with her without her being all drugged out and nar you know how it can be with narcotics at times. So uh, it wound up that um, it the first experiment that I did using that paradigm that my friend taught me through going through the the eye of the needle the hard way he taught me from the other side so the very first time that I used it it worked really great and uh, so I wanted to put that out there for people that are have decided that they're not going to fight their cancer they're going to go ahead and go on to the next phase of their existence without a body without a physical body on this plane um, and they want to use the hemp oil for a pain control boy there's just it just can't be beat so just wanted to put that out there too and uh, give my blessings to all. I know things are getting really kind of hectic now, but um, hang in there. There's, uh, there's light around the corner. Love to you all. Ciao.